Welcome to the Backtesting Strategies video. A standard backtest will run an automated strategy over a predefined range of saved historical data using a fixed set of parameters set up beforehand in the Strategy Analyzer. This is the most basic form of backtest, and it also serves as the foundation for different types of strategy optimizations. In this video, we will backtest the Sample MA Crossover Strategy, which comes preloaded with NinjaTrader while covering the range of parameters and options which can be used to customize a backtest. First, we will open a Strategy Analyzer window by clicking New Strategy Analyzer from the Control Center. If you are not yet familiar with the basic layout and general functionality of the Strategy Analyzer, viewing the Strategy Analyzer Overview video before this one can help you to get the most out of this tutorial. In the Settings section, first set the backtest type to Standard. Then, select Sample MA Crossover in the Strategy drop-down menu. Next, select any instrument for which you have historical data available. In this example, we will select the Euro-Dollar Forex pair. Set the price type and value to your liking. The Price Based On field allows you to test on a series of bid or ask prices if you wish, but we will use last prices for this example. The Type field allows you to select a bar type to be used in the backtest. Every bar type available on charts will be available in this list. We will select Minute for this example and use a value of 1. The settings we have just covered will set the basic inputs of the strategy. Many of the settings below this can have their defaults set in code, but they can also be changed directly in the user interface to quickly test changes to hard-coded strategy parameters. The Strategy Parameters section directly below allows you to enter or change values for user-defined inputs in the strategy. The Sample MA Crossover strategy includes two public properties used as user-defined inputs, an integer named Fast for the Fast Period Moving Average and another integer named Slow for the Slow Period Moving Average. Enter any values here that you wish to test. For this test, we'll change the Fast variable to 15 and the Slow variable to 50. In the Time Frame section, you can set up a date range and trading hours template to limit the data which will be processed. For this example, we will simply test one month of data from the end of July to the end of August. Trading hours templates determine the range of data that will be used in the test for each day tested. For example, assuming that you have 24 hours per day worth of historical data stored for Euro Dollar, but use a trading hours template which ends at 4.30 p.m. each day, then any data after 4.30 p.m. would not be processed in the backtest. The break at EOD setting will be important if you are using a bar type not based on time or volume, such as Renko or point and figure bars. Using this type of bar, the current bar is not guaranteed to be finished at the time that a session in the trading hours template ends. Enabling break at EOD will force the last bar to stop forming at the end of the session, and disabling it will allow the bar to finish forming after the end of the session in this scenario. Enable the Include Commission property if you wish to include your saved commissions in the backtest profit and loss reporting. The Maximum Bars Look Back property sets the maximum number of bars which your strategy logic can look backward for its calculations. Leave this set at 256 for better performance results, or change it to infinite if you know for certain that you require a longer look-back period. The Bars Required to Trade property sets the number of bars required to be processed in the historical data set before the strategy can place a trade. The Historical Fill Processing section controls the way in which order fills are simulated by the Backtest Order Fill Engine. The standard setting for order fill resolution offers the fastest performance and breaks each bar into three distinct simulated bars. For more information on how these simulated bars are formed, see the Understanding Historical Fill Processing page of the Help Guide under the Strategy Analyzer topic. The High setting for the order fill resolution allows you to use a specific lower interval for order executions. In our example, we will choose the High setting set the type to tick, and set the value to 1. With this setting, the strategy will still be backtested on a 1-minute interval, but a 1-tick interval will be used for order fills, allowing for the most precise order fills possible. 
The fill limit orders on touch setting will cause limit orders to be filled when they are touched if the price does not actually pass through the order. Otherwise, the order would not have filled. The slippage property allows you to specify a certain number of ticks of slippage to apply to order types that can experience slippage in normal live trading. When set to zero, no slippage will be applied. The order handling section allows you to limit the number of order entries allowed per direction, whether long or short. The entries per direction field allows you to specify this limit in terms of the number of filled entry orders which can be active at once. The entry handling setting directly relates to entries per direction. When set to all entries, the entries per direction setting will apply to all orders placed by the strategies. And when set to unique entries, the entries per direction setting will apply on a case-by-case -case basis based on the signal names of individual orders. The exit on close setting will determine whether open positions will be closed at the end of trading sessions or at the end of the date range being processed. The set order quantity field allows you to specify how order quantities are determined. Options include account size, which will base the number of entries on the risk template applied to your account and a hypothetical account size, default, which will use a default user-defined value for order quantities, and strategy, which will assume that the strategy is explicitly programmed to set order quantities. The time and force property will apply to orders placed by the strategy. The GTC setting will leave orders in place until they are intentionally canceled in code, while the day setting will cancel any outstanding orders at the end of each trading day in the test period. Once all strategy parameters are set to your liking, click the Run button to begin the test. If you wish to save these parameters for future tests, first click the Template button just above the Run button, then click Save. Enter a name for your new template, then click Save once more. To use this template in another test of the same strategy in the future, simply click Template, then Load before running the test. Once the test is complete, you should see data populate in the summary display to the left of the strategy parameters. You can now view performance results for the backtest in a variety of ways via the display drop-down menu. As an example, let's take a look at a few graphs in the analysis display. We will start with the cumulative net profit graph, which is displayed by default in the analysis display. Here we can see the strategy's evolution through various stages of profitability and unprofitability at different times during the test period. Next, we will switch to the max drawdown graph, which shows the maximum drawdown on trades taken during specific date ranges throughout the test period. If you are not familiar with the other displays available, see the Strategy Analyzer Overview video for more information on each one. Thank you for watching the Backtesting Strategies video.